morning, Facebook. It's Tipster Tuesday time. I hope everybody is doing great today. I'm going to give it about a minute just so people get notified that we're rocking and rolling this morning. So if you're up and about already, well done. It's probably, probably because of BOGOS, um, which is a great thing. So I'm glad you guys are moving and grooving this morning. I um, have been getting my graphics sorted for Instagram and stuff like that as well. But how lucky are we to get two BOGO options today? I feel like it hits so many people that um, haven't been enrolled. So there's two massive demographics that you want to target today. One being moms and teachers with the rollers, and the other being anyone over the age of 30 with um, Blue Tansy as an incredible skincare option for aging skin specifically. So I'm just really excited about that because it's kind of like probably everybody you know fits into that category on some level. Um, but just incredible oils. So let's see what kind of magic we can make happen today. Um, I will say take a second to write down your OV this morning and then you can see how much it's changed in the course of the day. But if you don't write it down or or to keep track of it, you won't know the growth that you've had from this morning till tonight. And this BOGO is pretty magical. So I'm sure you're gonna see a good increase on your team, especially if you're serving your customers well. Um, so anyway, just wanna put that out there. Okay, we're gonna dive in with Tipster Tuesday. Just so you know, I know that Tipster Tuesday last week did not load on Live Naturally Tools. So I'm gonna put that into a Dropbox link and then get it on there. I just haven't had a like a second to do that because we were in Salt Lake City for the diamond retreat and different things. So I will still make sure that that gets uploaded. Um, but we are on week four of our basics um, that I've been going through and I've been training a little bit on the PIPES acronym of, you know, preparing, inviting, presenting, enrolling, and supporting because I think it's just an awesome cycle that we put any person through or that we go through with every single potential customer or eventual customer. And I want to make sure that I'm giving you the tips and tricks that I use to make sure that those steps don't get skipped and that we do them really, really well. So today we're on week four, which would be enrolling. And I'm going to jump in with that. Um, so this shouldn't take too long. Okay. One of the things I want to encourage you uh, with or just remind you of is that you will always feel the most aligned in your business when you are enrolling. And so if there's ever time when you do not feel aligned, that you do not feel like things are going well for your business, that you're feeling kind of stuck or something like that, I would say clear everything um, and go enroll. Okay, so that would involve being more deliberate with your networking, hosting a couple more classes, getting creative, thinking outside the box. That is when you feel awesome about your business. It's when I feel awesome about my business. Um, I have a lot of good stuff going on. I work with my leaders all the time. I have a huge group going through Diamond Club. I'm excited about all of those things, but you know what? The biggest high I still get in this business is the day I have an enrollment. And it will always be like that. And so I want to continue to help bring people into this business. And it doesn't mean that I'm not doing a good job at other things, but I need to stay steady with enrollment. And so I just want to encourage you to remember that. And whenever you feel like things might not feel quite as aligned or you didn't have a good month, look at your enrollment activity and see if that lines up with it. Now, that being said, I'm not a huge enroller. I'm not enrolling 10, 20 a month. Um, I'm just a very steady enroller. I'm really satisfied as long as I have like five, um, which doesn't always even happen, but I work for that. Um, and I just want to encourage you with that too. So sometimes we can have this perception that just because someone's a really high rank, they must like, you know, everything they touch is gold and everyone they talk to just runs at them and throws money at their feet. And that's not true. That doesn't happen. Um, I had two no-show classes this month. Uh, stuff like that just happens, and that's why I put more on my calendar so I have more opportunities, and when things don't go quite right, you get creative and you think outside the box, which is perfect, right? That's what you should be doing. If things don't go right and you fall into the trap of complaining, 
it's going to um, squash your ability to get creative and think outside the box and change up the way that you do things. Or, you know, you kind of get scrappy. Somebody teach me something, you know, I've got to change. So just so you know, we still get no shows and things still don't go right. And that is totally okay. All right. So um, one of the things I want to just remind you of is some of some of you probably might still have the hurdle of I don't like to close. It's hard for me to sell something, and that was us in the beginning of DoTerra. We would invite like crazy. We would get rooms full of people. It's pretty easy early on to get people to like pack a room. No one was really teaching about essential oils. People really were desperate to learn. DoTerra was like you know, coming out, like just busting out as this brand new, incredible company, changing everything, doing things differently. Oils weren't quite mainstream yet. Um, so butts were in the seats, no problem. We would teach like crazy, probably too long, too many words, too many choices, you know, um, whatnot. Um, and then when it was time to enroll people, we would stare at them like deer in the headlights and just be like, thanks for coming, have a good day. Um, because we were terrified to close the sale. And I would say all of our effort, time, and energy was not worth anything without giving someone the opportunity to get the oils. So look at enrolling, if you get hung up on this, as an opportunity to serve them. You would never, never be like, this is my best recipe. Um, so I, you know, I use this organic rice and then I get this curry paste and then I use this and mix it all together and it is like, it is fabulous. It's the best, you know, recipe. It's, it's, it's my family's favorite. And then people say to you, well, where do you get all that? And you're like, oh, you know, you probably can't afford it or, you know, whatever you don't like, you don't want devalue the, the products that you're using and sharing. You don't not share where you get them. You just say, this is where you get them all here. I'll link them up for you. And that is how you share your product. And that's how you share what you have. So we're, it's our job just to share the oils, to share testimonies, to have passion about it. And then just to say, if you want them, this is how you get them and you have to close it out. Otherwise, your efforts are worth, worthless, honestly, in many ways. Okay, let's talk about enrolling them because tips for closing, a lot of times people struggle with that. Um, a couple of reminders about closing, though. If people aren't enrolling with you, like if you are getting some people to enroll and some people aren't, you probably don't struggle with closing. It just is some people just don't want what you have or the timing isn't right yet or they haven't had enough touch points to close the sale, okay? So um, if you have no one enrolling and that's happening over and over again, I definitely think that closing a sale is probably exactly where you need to focus. But if most of the time you can close the sale pretty easily, then it's just a matter of it's their decision and not yours as much. Um, and I wanna get too desperate with that because sometimes we sweeten the pot too much or we try to give them everything but the kitchen sink to like close the deal and then we come across with desperate energy. And sometimes it's just timing, good customer service, and more touch points that are needed to happen, more invitations to the next thing that you have, um, just reminders of how to use oils, maybe they have samples, things like that. So don't get too discouraged if you don't have a 100% close rate because it's not up to you when people pull the trigger. But if people are pulling the trigger with you, you're doing things right, okay? Okay, my coffee's gonna get cold, but that's okay. All right, um, one of the things I also wanna remind you is to give people less options. So you'll notice when we, in our, our Live Naturally handout, we do have four kit options. Now there are more than four kits, but we only highlight four kit options. And we do that because otherwise we have overwhelm. And I think I actually talked about this a little bit last week, is it's just there's too many choices. And so we limit it so that it's very, very easy to say, I want that one. Fits my price point and it has what I need. Period. If they have a ton of options all in the same price range, that gets confusing. You know, if they have a ton of options that look similar but they're a little different, your brain has to think too hard, that gets confusing. Anytime a mind is confused, it usually doesn't buy. And if you think about things that you're possibly buying um, or have bought recently, that's the truth. Like, 
when I can't figure out exactly what I want when I'm looking at something, like if the sizes are different and I'm confused, like, oh, those sizes are in Australian sizes. Those aren't you. I'm, I'm so confused. And then I have to go to a sizing chart and like on and on and on. I'm just kind of like, ah, too much, too much headache. Like I don't want to do it. And so we want to eliminate headache as much as possible to get people to close with us. So I, when I'm closing, this is what I do. Okay. What's your chance to get a wholesale account with doTERRA, which is kind of like Costco, meaning that you have like the special pass to get in the door and always get your products at a discount. And I do say, even though it's for a year, I do say always because I'm like, um, it's not that they're focused on the word always, but I'm not trying to confuse them with more details. Does that make sense? So you don't even have to say always, but you can say, and then you can get your products at 25% off um, and you could shop whenever you want to. So you kind of want to give them verbiage that's like easy, clear, you know, help, helpful to understand. And then I say, let's look at the kit options that you have because most people start with a kit. We recommend it because it has the greatest savings and it kind of eliminates the overwhelm of you having to make a lot of decisions because this is what people usually start with. And that kind of helps them too because if I say, I'm going to eliminate the overwhelm and tell you kits are the best to start with, then they're not thinking like, okay, I got to put together an a la carte order. Now, I don't care if people want to enroll a la carte. I just think they don't save as much money. It's more difficult for them. It doesn't come presented in a beautiful package. Um, and those things help with how you feel about your first purchase, right? So if I order a la carte and order a bunch of random stuff, I'm just going to get a box with a bunch of random stuff and a book. But if I order a kit, it comes packaged pretty. So I just want their first experience with doTERRA to feel like, ooh, this is like magic, right? So I do want them to get a kit for that purpose, but don't get hung up on it. If you're not selling kits, who cares? You're getting enrollments, you know? So don't get too crazy about that. Um, and then I go through each kit and with a few talking points. Um, when I get to home essentials and family essentials, that's the biggest one I wanna compare. That's where people will get hung up on price, and that's where 150 looks like a better value than 275. But one of the th best things that you can say when you're talking about these kits is you just need to decide do you want the big bottles or the little bottles. This these bottles are five milliliters with no diffuser for 150, and these bottles are 15, so three times the oil plus a diffuser, but not even twice the price. And then you're quiet. You let people think. You let them decide. You let them, like, they, math is not that fast for a lot of people, maybe some, but some have to actually think, okay, what's 150? Okay, 300. She's right. It's not even twice the price. Oh, she's right. It is three times the oil. Like, they have to figure that out or process that in their mind. So give them a second with that. Don't over talk this. Okay, and let them think, and then you can say, you can just decide which one you want. The better value is obviously home essentials, um, and it will last you longer. And those things are very, very true. Um, but again, you know, price point. And they might say, I really like that, it's just more than I was thinking about spending. And then I'll say, you know what, then go with family essentials. Um, you can always add on the diffuser, or you can just order it next month, and you can just slowly build your collection that way. And so I'm kind of in some way bringing in an LRP conversation there, just very, very subtly. I'm not trying to confuse them again or talk about that or give them all the perks of the program or scramble to get the enrollment. I'm kind of like, okay, if that's what you want to do, like, let's just do that. And the truth is I started with that. So when I, I never go straight to that first, but if they feel like, well, do you think that's going to work? And I said, you know what, that's what I started with. Um, that's what we could afford at the time. I'm so glad I just jumped in with two feet and got it. And then every, you know, month to month, I would just replace my little bottles with big bottles over time. But at least I had the oils to start working with. Um, and people are always like, oh, hey, and they really trust me because I'm just like, I'm not trying to upsell them in price or point value, even though I know it's a better value. I still have to, I still have to work with their budget and work with their comfort level. So read your people well, watch them, don't just scramble and talk a lot. Um, and then obviously they can enroll and fill out the enrollment form. Now this is not an official enrollment form. Um, if you send it into doTERRA for like a account swap or anything like that, that's like a detail that has to be 
like done legally in, in doTERRA corporate, this is not going to be the form you want. You want doTERRA's forms. But just to gather their information so then you can put it in the computer, this works super well because it's like not intimidating. It's very easy. There's no like, it just doesn't look like there's a lot of fine print, you know, um, and you don't want them being confused about the enrollment form. I mean, that's a huge hiccup sometimes for people. Okay, so just make sure you're doing less options. Um, one of the things, if you want to have all of the kits, you can go on livenaturallytools.com, print off all of the kits. I suggest laminating it and just having it just in case they are like, ah, I don't know that any of these kits that you're showing me um, fit my needs or my budget, or maybe they're like, I was really hoping for like just going for aromatherapy, you know, I just was really interested in the, the emotional benefits. And you can like, oh, I have the perfect kit for you. Hang on one second. And then you can show them that kit option or something. Okay. So don't get too hung up on that. Um, okay. One other thing that I love for enrolling is the link generator when it's working. Um, if you don't know how to do the link gener and generator right, or you've been afraid of it, it is so easy. Um, and you know, like I've been really honest, like technology, that's not my strength. I'm not a massive online builder, but I figure out what I need to know that's going to work for me, like what apps are going to help my business and how I can use technology to my benefit. So when I say the link generator is easy, I promise you it is so easy, but go into your back office, go up into account profile. That's where you're going to find it. And if you go into account profile, scroll down, there's link generator and it's like you will learn it in 30 seconds like it's it's literally that easy and a lot of times i'm doing like workouts in the park um or just meeting with people or i'm chatting with them through instagram and we've like they're people that i know but we chat via instagram through messenger there and um i'll send them a link like once they're like okay i think i'm ready i'm like okay here's a link for you um let me know if that works and usually it does work. Lately it's been a little glitchy, so I would say just, you know, test it out, send it to your best friend, see if she can, you know, click on it and open it and everything looks good. So just be cautious with it. Um, but I'd love to send people a link with everything we just talked about already for them so they don't get confused. And I would say you can add more products if you want, if there's something else you were wanting to get, but, you know, here you go, rock and roll with this. And it's worked out really, really well. So link generators just make enrollment easy. And if they just have to click and click and like, you know, check out that way, it again, it eliminates the overwhelm and there's so much less that they need to do. Go away. Go away. Sorry. I have children holding up notes in my um, doorway, hoping that I can read them through the door and answer their questions while I'm live. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. Okay, um, another thing with, um, just going back real quick, sorry, to the Home Essentials and Family Essentials kit. One of the easiest things you can say is um, big bottles or little bottles. So you can just, when you're even like introducing the kits or going through it, you can just say, you can decide you want big bottles or little bottles, and they decide, and then you go from there. Big bottles, bigger value, small bottles, a great starter. You know, it's up to you. Um, I will say that at my classes, especially at home, but I do public classes too, I have the kits there. I always have um, the Family Essentials kit out, the Home Essentials kit out, and I do have the Natural Solutions as well because I want them to see what they get for the value of um, you know, their money and they can kind of touch it and see it all and like experience it. Um, like, wow, okay, that's a lot. That's This is what I'm looking at. Um, and the Family Essentials kit at that point doesn't look that impressive. Like in a picture, it's hard to differentiate, but in person, you're like, oh, that is much smaller. And so that is helpful too, to show those things. Now you don't have to have them out. I just found that it's very, very helpful. And people usually make a decision because they're really clear um, about what the, they want then because they saw it, they, they know what to expect, okay? All right, um, a couple things with questions when you're closing people out. I know if you're doing a one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes closing is a little bit easier because you've established like this rhythm of exchange and conversation, but in a class, you're talking, everyone's listening, you've interacted hopefully well, but now you have to go individually and close them out, and so now you're, you're starting an exchange with one person at a time, 
It's a little bit different, so you have to be really confident. So I would just say my tip for you is just be confident, and confident people don't run their mouths. Insecure people, blah, 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 blah. they have like diarrhea of the mouth, they talk too much, there's a desperate energy happening, but confident people are just kind of like, what, you know? What do you want? Um, and so not that you have a, a cocky attitude, but you know what I'm saying? Like you just, you're probably talking too much if you're losing sales at this point. So I'll sit down and I always tend to gravitate toward the person who seemed like the smiliest, like the most smiley, I don't know, that is like tracking with me, you know, maybe like asking questions, maybe like commented about, you know, something healthy. I'm like, okay, this lady is my audience. She's with me. She's been with me the whole time. And I might start with her. Um, and so my transition is usually, hey, I'm going to come around and make sure you got all your questions answered. I want to see which kit you're interested in and help you get started. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go one by one. Um, and not, sometimes I'll say things like, is there anyone that needs to leave early that would want me to start with them? And um, sometimes somebody would be like, I actually do need to leave early, but I would love to ask you a few questions. I'm like, great, I'll start here. And then the rest of you, you know, mingle, start, you can look through and I'll have books out, like start looking up your ailments. That's a really, 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 really smart transition. I hope you guys, if you take away anything, take away that. Have your, you know, Essential Life book, Modern Essentials book, Oil Magic book, whatever book you use, um, have a couple of them there at your class, and I like to say, start looking up your ailments, see what you need. Um, it's gonna help you kind of determine, and sometimes for people that can be confusing, but most of the time people, you know, like they're just, they get really secure in like, okay, I will use all the oils in this kit, and that's what it usually does. It kind of creates some more um, confidence for them, okay? Now, I will say I like to use the book that I'm going to give them for enrollment, and I give a book when they enroll. So I take a stack full of oil magic books, um, and then when they enroll, then I say, oh, this is also for you. You get to take this book home. So now they're kind of like excited about the book because they've been playing with it a little bit as I'm closing other people out, okay? So I'm closing them out. What can I help you start with? Um, it's a great question. Hey, how, you know, what, what are you loving? What can I help you start with? And um, another question is, are you ready to get started tonight? And just wait. And don't say, like, are you ready to get started tonight? Or did you need time to think about it? Or, like, you're just blabbering then. Just say, are, were you ready to get started tonight? And they're going to be like, yeah, I think so. And you're like, okay, what can I help you with? You seem to have some questions. And they might ask me some questions, you know. Um, another key thing you can say is, like, hey, you know, was this your first class? Ever and you might have like heard that or you could say this was your first class, right? And they'd be like, yeah, this it kind of blew my mind and I'll say what were you most excited to start to change like in your home or in your environment? What are you most excited to change and they'll say, you know, like I mean toxic free living or you know, whatever and and I don't say like okay Well, we should probably start you on the laundry detergent the blah blah blah. I don't even get into it. I say well, which kit are you most drawn to? And that's an awesome question. Not which kit do you want to buy, you know, but what are you drawn to? Which kit really is, is kind of standing out to you? And they might point to one, you know, like it's, I really think I need the natural solutions kit. And um, I usually say, you know, I love when people get started with this kit because it, it will really transform your health and it's not too overwhelming. I'm going to come and show you how to use everything, but it really is the best, the biggest bang for your buck. Um, and so if you feel like that's the right kit for you, fill out this form. And then I also have a book for you. So as soon as your oils come in, you're going to be set. You can start looking things up and then we'll connect. And they're usually so excited about like, okay, she just reaffirmed my thoughts if they say to me though, um, I'm really thinking about the family essentials kit and I was like, okay, that's great. Fill out this form. No matter what they say to me, I'll say, okay, that's going to be great for you. Fill out this form because I don't want to try to be like, well, the family essentials kit's not as good. I already told them that the home essentials kit is a better value. I've already established that, but so now it's their choice. It's like if somebody says to me, um, I mean, I don't know if you've ever been a server, but servers, their job is to upsell liquor, okay? So if they're like, hey, I want a margarita, I'm like, did you want that with 
Patron or did you want that? And they'll be like, no, just the house liquor. You know, you don't go back and be like, well, Patron is better. And they're like, yeah, we know, but we want the house liquor because we don't care because we want to pay less money. And so I, you don't stand there and argue. You just say, okay, I'll be right back. And you smile and you're, you don't show any kind of emotion whatsoever about their decision except for like happiness, right? Except for cooperation. And so do that with the sale too. Um, if they're like, you know what, I kind of want to customize my kit, which is fine. They'll pay $35 and say, okay, pay $35 and mark what you want write it here on these lines and then I'll come and I can add that up for you so you kind of have a ballpark of what you're spending and we'll make sure like if there's a special deal I'll say I'll make sure that you have enough points to get the freebie or whatever that looks like um, I just kind of do it like that so again less less words tons of confidence a lot of peace that's involved with this it's gonna go really really well okay a couple things that I do I just want to say when I'm enrolling so I'll wrap up here um, is give when they enroll with me I do give them a little package of samples I can show you but it's across the room but a little organza bag I put a shampoo and conditioner in there I put a deep blue rub I put one roller one empty roller from doTERRA um, I put a piece of slim and sassy gum with a sticker on it so they know what it is and I kind of explain it and then usually I put a couple of throat drops in there as well also with stickers on them so breathe We'll have a breathe sticker, on guard, on guard sticker, um, but the um, the ginger ones you can put a ginger sticker. So they just they know that they have flavors and like what they are because otherwise it's just blue, red, and brown. You know, it's like I don't know what that is. So put the stickers on them. Um, I say this is your little sample pack. These are some extra fun products that DoTerra has. Toothpaste is another thing I put in there usually, um, but it's a really it's kind of like a substantial package, and because. Those are things that they will get on for LRP um, and they get to experiment and have fun with them. Um, I want them to have those. They also feel like they leave with something substantial. The other thing I do give is a book and you don't have to do this. Um, I give them the uh, Oil Magic book because it's a great price point. Um, it's very user friendly. It's not overwhelming. Um, I love the Modern Essentials book, the Essential Life book. They're but they're big and bulky and kind of make me feel like I'm going to college. Um, and this is more like, hey, here's your little guide. So you can give them that. Another thing if you if you're like too much money, I don't want to give up that much of my fast start to an enrollment. I understand that. You can give them little like beginner's guides from Live Naturally. We have those and that's a nice little book. Um, and it still feels awesome. So you just have to decide what you're going to do, get your system down, and stick with it. And that's going to be helpful. Um, no matter what, though, <clears throat> a book usually pays off in dividends because they have education. They start self-diagnosing. They read a lot. And then when their oils come, not only are they excited about what they have, but they have a whole list of things they're ready to buy again. So by the time you get to them for their membership consult, they usually have um, a list of things that they're thinking about getting or have on their list and you can say let's let's figure out what's going to be the most beneficial for you to get in your next order let me explain how the loyalty program works because it looks like you're going to take advantage of it um, and that way it's almost like the loyalty program is their idea because they've already been digging into their book so it's a really powerful way to get their residual um, orders because if you're just enrolling and there's no good follow-up and you don't have a system in place, you're going to struggle, struggle, struggle to keep volume because you have to enroll X amount of people every month to keep your team alive. Whereas I don't actually have to do that. I mean, I enroll constantly because there's people who need oils and I feel passionate about that. But my team is sustained by LRPs and this is part of that is we're just very good at educating and giving people tools to stick with it. Okay. Um, so samples, rollers, education, that's what I give. It's easy. I, it costs me maybe $15 per enrollment um, to give that. Now, if it's a personal enrollment of mine, my fast start is usually a minimum of like $20, $22. So I'm still earning money. Um, but at the same time, my fast start, what I consider fast start to do is my investment back into them to keep this you know, relationship alive and to keep them as a really great customer. So I would just recommend that. Um, I don't usually give any like anything else like free oils and stuff like that. I don't go into that. Um, they're gonna love what they get from doTERRA and they're gonna order it. I want them to order FCO. We usually add that to every order, um, things like that. So just to give you some tips there, I think I've shared that many times before. 
but I train everybody to do that because even if you're a brand new builder, you can give them a beginner's guide and a couple samples and your sample pack might be smaller. You might not want to give all of those samples, but you might want to give like deep blue toothpaste and a throat drop, you know, or just like a roller, a little baggie with like two rollers in it. Um, is incredible because then they have a tool right away to go home and when their oils come they can make some rollers um, Even bonus points if you give them a couple of your favorite rollerball recipes like you know Kind of like unique to you the things that you love that they can use for uh, we, Using the basic 10 oils like maybe a sleep roller something like that um, It's really helpful and then they have a recipe to work with immediately and they learn that um, oils are just easy, fun, you know, it's not rocket science, stuff like that, okay? So those are my enrolling tips. I hope that that helped you guys a lot because sometimes it's just little teeny things that you can tweak that's gonna make you successful. Today, because it's the BOGOs, I would capitalize on the link generator and you're probably not gonna go around town meeting with 10 people. You're probably gonna do a lot of back and forth via texting and messenger and things like that to get people to get the BOGO and enroll. So maximize your online tools for that. Um, but in the, you know, your next class or two, use some of these tips. I'd love to hear how they work for you and the, the small tweaks that you've changed with that, okay? So next week, Tuesday the 30th, um, we'll be back with our part five of the basics, which would be um, supporting. Um, so I have a lot of tips for you for how to support your new enrollments, how to support your builders, um, we'll be talking about that, and then I'll give you an update of what, what's happening with Tipster Tuesday, okay? So, thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you have a great day. Go enroll some people, okay? See you later. Bye, Facebook.